In order to solve the last two edges on a 4x4 and also intuitively solve parities with no algorithms, we need to first better understand edge flipping principles and methods. So we're going to go over that now. So in order to demonstrate that, I'm going to use this cube here that's only got these, these two edge pairs unsolved. The easiest method to flip these is simply to turn a side. So notice when I did that, not only did the color swap, but top and bottom swapped. So let's look at that again. So here we've got the orange green on top. I've labeled it left and right and the red green on bottom. So when we do a rotation, now the left and right have swapped and top and bottom have swapped. So the problem with that method though, is it also flips the centers. So although these are all four red, and you may not notice that it flipped it, the top is now on the bottom and left and right have swapped. So that becomes an issue when we're splitting centers and some of the other techniques that we're gonna use. We can flip these edges independent of the centers with a few different methods, but the easiest is just beginner method of taking this edge out and reinserting it upside down. Now, when I take that out, it doesn't matter if I take it out and set it that way, or this way. Just take it out, and then when you put it back in, put it in from the other side. So it doesn't really matter which side I take it out on, clockwise or counterclockwise, as long as I put it in from the other side. So for example, now I'm gonna take it out this way. But you may have noticed something if I take it out one particular direction, it flips it, but it scrambles this. But if I just undo what I did, which means I take it out the opposite, it restores all that. We'll use that principle later, so just keep that in mind. So let me show you again. So if I flip this edge, those are flipped. If I go the same way again, it flips it again, but it doesn't restore this top. That may not matter, but there comes a time when it does matter. So when I take it out and push the edge piece clockwise, I call that a right hand move. Then I reinsert it with my left hand. Now to reverse that, I just start with my left hand and put it back in with my right hand. Okay. And it doesn't matter what side you're on. Sometimes it's good to practice a sequence forward and then reverse. Okay, so we can also do that same move without an axis rotation and changing hands. So instead of changing hands, I just turn the front up, bring it down. That's effectively the same exact thing. And of course I can reverse that. All right, here's another method to flip edges. And of course that can be reversed. This last method, if you watch it, it's actually pretty simple and intuitive as well. I just set it on top. I flip the edge, put it where I want. In order to fix the front, I just hide it and restore that. But as a beginner, I recommend just doing this beginner method of taking it out, switching hands and putting it back in. And then be in the habit of just reversing that because that'll come in handy. And I'll give you a good example. I'm gonna flip this. That's flipped, this is messed up. But watch how I resolve that. I move my center, then I flip this in the reverse. Um, that's all restored now flip two edges so that comes in handy and we're going to use that a lot all right so let me show you that one more time so i'm going to flip it with my right hand that's back fixed this is messed up i have to move the center because in order to restore all this i have to work from this slot okay and then i use this hand to put it back in so basically i did something then i undid it and i made a change elsewhere so for example, I could do the same thing here, move the center, 
and then I just flipped those. So I'll flip them both back. All right, we're gonna use that principle a lot more, especially when we solve parity intuitively. Okay, and of course that same principle applies to other cubes as well. So I just flipped that edge. I just restored it. Now I'm gonna move another edge in. I'm gonna restore the top. And as you can see, I just flipped these two edges. So if I wanna fix those, I can just take it out, put it back in upside down, and then just reverse that. And there we go. So real simple concept. All right, so to recap, the easiest way to flip edges is just turn one side, but the drawback to that is it also flips your centers. The easiest way to flip them independent of the centers is just beginner method of take the edge out, put it back in upside down. If you need to restore the top, just do the reverse. In most cases, you won't need to restore the top, so it won't matter. So you could just keep flipping. Just keep flipping. That's a wrap.